need someone else to do that, and I need you. Okay. Anybody else? Doesn't matter. I need you. Thirty seconds. Okay. So Rick and I can talk for a little while. Ask for our um, our, our charity uh, representatives to come up, and the first two they're going to come up uh, right here. Robert. They're going to need to come up over this side of the stage, and they're going to need to be mic'd or have mics. Okay. And then when they're done, Rudolph, who is somewhere first, and nobody else. Correct. So the first two on stage are Robin and Lisa. Correct. Robin and Lisa. Okay. R Lisa. Lisa. It's, it's spelled Lisa. Okay. Yeah. Robin and, Lisa. and then Rodolfo, who I can't find. Okay. Five oh, okay. Seconds. So we'll just mic Lisa, and we'll bring her on over on this side yeah, of the stage. Okay. And then right, uh, I'm looking started. for Rodolfo. I can't find him, but he had a pair of sweatshirt on. Yeah. And long hair. Okay. Okay. We'll find him. And uh, but we're gonna talk to Lisa first. Okay. Okay. Um, is your Hi, Robert. I don't know. My mic isn't doing anything anymore. I just said hi. I don't know. My mic. Hello, hello. My mic is not. Yeah. No, no, I'm just not. I'm not. I bet you it's this. The receivers are over here. Oh wait, but yours are these. Mine should be fine. I just wasn't. I'm wondering if I was turned down too low. Now I can hear me. Hello, hello. Yes, I hear static. Okay. okay. So what do we need to do? No. Okay. And white balance. White balance. White balance. Standing here isn't that good enough? Too much. Too much tan. <laughs> Hello. No, it's not my shirt. Not my shirt. All right, we're live. Please put it. Switch over to. Are we live? Yeah, we should be. Oh, is it? Is it four o'clock? It's four o'clock. Well, we don't need him yet. No, but we need to get him. Uh, well, he's not going to hear me because I can't see him. No one can see us. Hi. Hi. Can Welcome you hear to us? Thirty Hour Day. Hey. We're not quite ready for you yet. But, um, but go ahead and grab you know, a I'm not even sure what camera is live. We'll We're over right. there. Oh, look. Go over go there. there. Oh. Go over there. I can't. Hi. There we are. Hi. Hi. Welcome Hi. to 30 Hour Day 2. We're, we're, is we're that us? Oh, it is Yeah, us. we're Yay. still getting a little stuff done, but um, <laughs> we're, we're started. There's and some work you, to do. Hopefully you can hear us. Can, can, you, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fine. I can so, hear you. You're fine. Whatever. But, so, um, wait, no. Bob we've got some little there. technical difficulties yeah. over there. It's not that they're so difficulties, really. Technical You're making it challenges. Like a problem. There's some technical challenges. And, it's just... Uh, but we are going... There's and, a little uh, more to do than we maybe thought originally because we're in way Pioneer Courthouse it. Square. <gasps> it's hey, a bigger venue. We're in Portland's living room, so welcome to welcome to Portland's living room. They all don't you have very comfortable couches. People watching got there. It's bricky. There's lots of bricks. Yes, lots of bricks. Not a lot of comfy couches. So should we go through what we're trying to do here while we're waiting to well, to do other stuff? It might be a good time to do that while they set okay. up our little living room scene over there. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So this is 30 Hour Day. It's a 30 hour live streaming telethon to raise money for some really, really awesome charities. And those charities are? PEAR. PEAR, which helps at risk youth. The Oregon Food Bank. Yeah, which gathers food. And if you come down to Pioneer Square at any oh, time, we've got if some you're, sound there's problems. some feedback. If you're <laughs> in Portland, or maybe you want to come to Portland just to see this. We've come, got 30 hours to get here. Come on, yeah, come on down to Pioneer Square. We've got barrels set up everywhere, so you can drop drop a non-perishable food item in those barrels for folks. And yes. then our third charity is is uh, the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. That's right. We won't be doing any blood driving. No, I uh, faint easily. Yeah, no. That's but you should right. donate blood. Yeah. And come but on I don't down. have the equipment for you to do it here. Come on, so. come on down and listen to him talk. Yes. About stuff. We've got. Is it? Is it us? That's I think feeding? we're too close. I to think that. it's that monitor. That monitor doesn't like us. Um, if, if Thank you, you Jason. Want, if you want to donate, we use the causes application to take in all donations, mm -hmm. so that um, your money goes directly to the charities we're supporting. We will be rotating that on a about three hour three, three hour hours. basis. Hello. The charity we have live on causes right now is Pear. Yeah, so and you, that will be live for three hours. Right. So if you go to bit.ly, bit dot ly slash three zero hd two, you will be able to go straight to the causes page, start your donating, 
kick some money in there. You'll see there's a little bit in there from last time, but go ahead and join the causes and, and start donating. Could they just go to the 30-hour day website? They could go to the 30-hour day website, which is 30hourday.org, and you'll see the video playing yes. right there. And you, there's a Donate Now button right there, and you'll also see how long you have left to donate. Probably about 29 hours and... 50, 50 minutes at Five. this point. That's There's really an iPhone app too. So if you want to keep if you want to keep watching, you want to donate while you're out and about, come on down here, watch it on your iPhone while you're standing down here, whatever. There's an 30 hour day iPhone app. So search on iTunes for that. Mm -hmm. Or that is, I can't remember net name, the the short URL, but we will get that. We'll get it we'll, for you. We'll throw it I up on the right now. screen down here for you at some point. Oh, yeah. hey, my See? name's up yeah, there. Look, hey. oh, there. I get distracted. Yeah. My shirt is shiny. Our monitor's so over there. maybe we should tell you a little bit about what happened in the last 30 hour day so that you're prepared for what we're going to do in the next 30 hour that day. That sounds good. There was no sleeping. No, for 30 hours. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, but it was during the holidays last time. It was for, oh, it's raining. Ooh, I'm sorry. Easily distracted. <laughs> Weather. Long day. So it's 30 hours, there's no sleeping. Last time we did it during the holiday season and we raised money for the Oregon Food Bank Toys for Tots. And... Charlie! How embarrassing. Yeah, what was the last one? Oregon Food Bank. Toys for Tots. Free Geek! Free Geek, Free Geek. Oh. thank you. Thank yeah, you, so that's geek. humiliating. Yeah. I'm a geek and I can't yeah. remember that. So there, those three oh. charities we raised money come. for. Um, and we basically, the idea is it's a variety show. So it's not going to be it's not going to be us sitting up here chatting all the time. Mm -hmm. We're going to be giving you stuff You're that's much that. much more entertaining. Try and there's protect the. There's a live the, mic somewhere on stage that we're some, not wearing. There's some wind. Yeah. Um, but so as you tune in throughout the 30 hours, or if you want to stay up the whole time. Yeah. You're welcome to stay up with us. That's cool if you want to do that. I don't know why you would. But we don't recommend that. Maybe record it. It's, yeah. it's going to be recorded. I mean, you can take just and, watch it later. Take a nap and, and watch. But, they, but there'll be all kinds of cool stuff tonight. Um, DJs so, late night. Mm -hmm. There'll be okay. bands tomorrow. At 5.30, we've got a band. We've got one moment coming up. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then around 6.30, we've got Target for tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Our house band. They're our house band. They yeah. were our house band last yeah. time. They're our They're house amazing. band again. We love them. We do love them. Yes, a lot. We're missing one of the horns of destruction. Yeah, but. so it's, is it horn of destruction? Or is there? No, it's oh, still there's still two. Yeah. All right, yeah. good. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and then tomorrow we have, well, tonight we also have an episode of Strange of Life. We have an episode of Crazy Talk. Yeah. And we've got the premiere screening of uh, The Last Stand, which is I a know. zombie web series. If you like zombie stuff, you should tune in later tonight. It's going to be that'll be at That'll be at 11. I mean, who don't like zombies? I mean, bit. other than you know, like chewing on you and stuff. But the Did you idea. Bring a helmet? We've got helmet cams. So oh, we can good. protect ourselves we'll from the zombies later. with those. I'm wondering if they're ready in our living room set yet. I don't know. Can we move over there yet? To that, to that can place? We, can we switch to our couches? I'm, not, I'm trying to get an okay. This is what we call a soft start. <laughs> we haven't scheduled not, a lot have, of. It's going. It's just not you know, going, going we're at here. this point. I mean, we're, maybe we're, you could get us to shut up if you donated. That's a good idea. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Just take some time, yeah. fill out the, the donation, take care of that. We'll wait. Okay. Maybe we should mention um, who this hour is sponsored by. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Step House. Step House Networks is yes. sponsoring this hour. They're providing all the connectivity. Mm -hmm. They have a great program here in Portland, and they provide a lot of wireless for a lot of companies here in town. They have microwave uplink that's wicked fast. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're looking for connectivity, Step House Networks is a great one. And maybe we should also take this opportunity, Rick, yes. to introduce ourselves. I don't think we did. I don't think we did that either. That's a big fail on yeah. our part. I'm Cammy Chaos. Star. I'm Cammy Chaos, and this is Rick Tarosi. Yeah. Can and I, we, didn't, we didn't say hi to you guys, and I, I apologize. My manners yeah. are apparently atrocious. Hmm. I think maybe it's also a good time preemptively to thank all of the volunteers. Yes, thank you to all the volunteers and all the sponsors who we will, who we will talk about throughout the show, yes. um, and we'll try and wrecking, you know, you'll get to meet a lot of the volunteers throughout the day, throughout the night, um, and then uh, obviously at the wrap party tomorrow, yes. you'll get to meet them. And then also I think, he won't actually hear this right now, but thank you to Dr. Normal, who's back there behind the scenes plugging Still things pulling in. Wires he, he's the and third stuff. part of this uh, whole production nightmare, so as it were. Yeah. And to PDXFM, who's come in and they are the tech crew. For yes, the PDXFM, our premier. Our premier sponsors, PDXFM, and they're providing all the audio and 
all that fun. So they're doing, they're still working stuff out back yeah. there. We can see them. Uh, by the so. fact that they're plugging stuff in, I'm kind of, I'm going to go stand over here for a minute okay. and see if they turn the camera. Okay, I'm go ahead. So I'll stay, stay here. There. Yeah. You go, yeah. you go over there. She's going away. See how that goes. Okay, you just take care of things. Okay, hi. Hi. Um, we're not switching cameras, Cammy. All right, what else can I tell you about? So we're going to have Pear up here. They're going to tell you a little bit about their organization. So you guys can learn. They're probably of the charities we're raising money for. I mean, a lot of people know about Oregon Food Bank. A lot of people know about the American Red Cross. But Pear is an amazing program that a lot more people need to know about. And that's the reason we chose them as one of our charities. They're going to come up and talk about their program. We're not talking to Pear first. Great. I know. OK. I know. They didn't move the camera. I know, they didn't. But they're the ones, they're the ones I think people when I talk about them, they're the ones that people know the least. I about. agree. They are the people. So. Yes, definitely the ones that people need know the least about. And and part of that is because most cities, most states have an Oregon food bank situation. Clearly, right. it's not the Oregon food bank in someone else's state, but they have a food bank. It's pretty self-explanatory what they do. Right. I think everyone hopefully knows what the Red Cross is and what they hopefully. do. Yes. So yeah, you're right. Yeah. And, and since the pairs are are you know charity this hour, it's appropriate to discuss that. Right. right. So if if you if you are a fan of Pear or just learning about Pear, why not just take a couple minutes and mm -hmm. donate? And you can go to their bucks. website, which is, I believe, pearmentor.org. Pearmentor.org, all one word. And it's Pear, P E A R, mm -hmm. mentor.org. Yes. Yes. I'm really ready to go sit on the couches now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're ready for us. They're not. Okay. Well, why don't we give you a little more history about 30 Hour Day, where it came about? Why we started, My basement. that kind of thing. Started in your basement, yeah. Strange Love Live Studios. Yes. We were sitting there one night in... After me and PDX? Yeah, November, maybe? No, October. October. At the very end of October, after Halloween. Yeah, and the three, Dr. Normal and the two of us were sitting there and we're like, we should do something for the holidays to give back to the community. Merry Christmas. Uh-huh. And Happy we said, Monica. what was the original idea? Um, a 30, no, a 24-hour podcast. Really long podcast. Which and had we thought, been done. Yeah, people had done that. And so we thought we could do something a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, so we kind of hit upon this 30-hour day. Well, no, 30-hour podcast. 30-hour podcast. Yeah, in and the then, basement. And then kind of variety show came about with okay. Jerry Lewis telephone. Are you Jerry stuff. or am I? No, you are. I'm more Ed McMahon than I think. I thought Megan Kate was my Ed McMahon. Oh, she might be. I might not have a spot. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm Dean. I'm Dean Martin. Oh, you're Dean. OK, oh, that works. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Right. So I'm just going to wait. Okay. We're going to let Kelly come up here and talk to you about what she did for the last 30 hour day. Okay. Because, you know, that'll work. Yeah. And then we're going to wait a few minutes. And as soon as the production okay. booth lets us know that we can move over to our living room set, we will. Okay. So, Kelly, why don't you tell them a come little bit up. about coordinating, and by coordinating, I mean wrangling people, herding cats. Somebody can feet. stand to any of you, so yeah. I wanted to come say. We'll give you your space. Oh, no, 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 come back. You don't <laughs> have to leave me <laughs> no. here alone. No, no. So. There's no sound. No sound for the last 10 minutes? Oh, okay. No okay. sound for the last 10 minutes is what we're hearing. So right. the recap there's, is, there's so that was a good we're here on. for charity. Hello, time. Pioneer Square. All right, Kelly, I think we're going to re-recap. We'll have you Re-recapping? We're going to re, because they lost. OK. They, they, they know nothing. So now you're dissing me. You reeled me in here for, gonna, for, for nothing. I'm yeah. going to bring nothing. you back in. They don't know what you're talking about yet. They I didn't, didn't start even, talking, so it doesn't matter. So we have to tell them now. OK. It's good though because we we'll try to again. Ourselves. Okay. Good. All right, here we go. Take two. Yeah. So it's 4:11. Four, can you hear us? So we're 11 there? minutes into 30-hour day. Can we? Can we? Can, are they can hearing us now? Can we talk now? This is one heck of a start to a 30-hour telethon, desk. isn't it? We're gonna have to stay 11 minutes later. No, now. they're Thank gonna you. have to stay 11 minutes later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're gonna have to stay and talk. I don't know where we're feeding back. Mm. Can they? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Let's see. We're do, waiting do, for do, the do, 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 do. waiting for the signal. Do we have sound? We have, we sound. have sound. Okay, we have sound now. Okay, Welcome great. to Thirty Hour Day Two in Pioneer Courthouse Square. It's Woo! nice to see you. Glad Where you are your came. Host? Cammie those Chaos. Of, those of you who can read lips, this is gonna be a little Rick repetitive. Oh, hi. Sorry. Say, not, hi. I'm Rick Tarosi, and this yeah. is Cami Chaos. Nice to nice to see you. We already did eleven minutes of introductions, and the you know twenty people in the square know everything. Right, so they have to listen the to dark, it again. Unless you watched the first thirty-hour day, which was uh, December, the first weekend in December last year, you're totally in the dark. You don't know what we're doing. Why are we here? 
for a 30-hour day. Oh, what are we doing? We're raising money for some really great charities. Okay, like who? Like who? Like Pear. Okay, I like Pear. And the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. Okay, good. Everybody knows the American Red Cross. And the Oregon Food Bank. Oregon Food Bank. And the Oregon Food Bank's an important one because if you come down here yes. to Pioneer Square, Portland's yes. living room. Um, where any, we are. Where we are. Anytime during 30-hour day, please bring a non-perishable food item with you and drop it off in one of the barrels. Mm -hmm. And that will make sure that gets to Oregon Food Bank. Because at this time, our barrels are just collecting water. Yes, they're just collecting rainwater, which we may disperse to people as well. They don't know. No, we have, a good, we have a good water sponsor. Oh, we do have a water. We yeah. Have, yeah, we have all kinds but of drink we don't need to, sponsor. Let's, let's stuff. talk about the sponsor for the hour, which is Step House. Yeah, Step House Networks is providing all of our connectivity. So the stream you're seeing and hearing is, is, because, of is because of Step House. And they're providing all the wireless that's allowing this stream to take place. So thank you very much, Step House. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate it. Yes. Where did 30 Hour Day come from? They didn't hear that story either. They didn't hear that story? No. Well, they, they just oh, got first, what is it? Well, 30 Hour Day is a charity telethon broadcast only over the web. So we're going to be here for 30 hours. Ooh, oh, Charlie almost walked into our shot. For the, for the, <laughs> Nobody would have known if you hadn't told them. I couldn't help it. So the, um, we're going to be here for 30 straight hours, not in Pioneer Square, but broadcasting for 30 straight yeah, hours. Yeah, we have to leave for 12 hours. We'll come back to Yeah, we're not allowed though. in the square. We have to go to, an, to another sponsor who's going to provide space for us. But um, it's going to be interviews, comedy, Music, yes. all kinds dancing. of dancing, all kinds of crazy stuff um, for 30 hours straight. Yeah. Watch it from the comfort of your own web browser or come down here. And, and watch it from your iPhone. In Pioneer Square. But yeah, watch it on your iPhone so that we get, what else is on the iPhone? We have an iPhone app. We do, which is awesome. Yeah. So if you have one of those iPhone thingies or iPad touches, download the 30 hour day app. Yeah. You can find it on iTunes, I hope. Yeah, and from that you can check out the schedule so you know what's going on yep. in greater detail than we're providing you right now. Right. You can also uh, link to the causes page. Yeah, and that's an important thing. I mean, basically what we're here to do is raise money for some local Portland charities. And in order to do that and ensure that it's all tax deductible and that kind of thing, we use a site called causes.com that allows you to donate directly to the charities, ensuring that they get the money and that you get your, your tax deductible receipt and all that stuff. So if you go to bit.ly slash 30HD2, that will take you directly to our causes page. The, the charity we're raising money for for the next three hours mm -hmm. is PEAR, Correct. which is a mentoring for homeless and at-risk youth. We'll be talking to them a little bit later. It's a really, really important program. So, uh, oh, the Max is coming by. I don't know, you might be able to see it come by right there. But mm. um, we're having all sorts of malfunctions going on. It's okay. There goes the there goes the Max. You can see it right there. Can uh, you? Oh, you can. How cute. So that you get a little Portland flavor there as well. Uh, what else should we tell them about? Well, we should tell them that we are having a little bit of a soft start, but it's okay because we built this in actually. Yeah. We did. We yeah. knew, we, wow. My heel can go right through the stage. Yeah, let's not do that. Exciting. Okay. Um, we, we built in a little bit of a soft start, partly because we also can't have a lot of noise going on in the square until 5.30. That's correct. At 5.30, we're going to have a band one moment who played last time at 30 Hour Day as yep. well. Yep. I don't know who that is. I don't know. That was you. You were way it's too me. close. It's me. It's me. You were way too close. Okay, and right now, we're just, we're just waiting for the go-ahead to go over to the living room. Use our room. other set where maybe there won't be as much feedback. Wow. I don't there's know. Some, there's nothing like live testing <laughs> of the audio equipment. If I step equipment. off screen, it's perfect. So I'll just stay over here. Hi. Okay, so. I really wanted to do the show by myself this time. Hello? So I gave him a faulty yeah, mic. Talk. And what? This is what happens. This is the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't get to see on a TV telephone because they're ready to go already. Yeah, you want to re-mic me? I'll, oh, yeah. I'll be back. Just give Goodbye. me a sec. I know. I'm, I'm unzipping.
We're going to switch. So right now, for the first three hours, we're going to be uh, driving all of your donations to PAIR. And you can go to the 30-hour day website. Hmm. Got to love the sound of static in the morning. Can someone turn off the... Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so right now, PAIR. So if you go to 30hourday.org, 30hourday.org, there will be a link to that as well. And then after 30-hour day, after PAIR is done with their three hours, we will have the Oregon Food Bank. And then the next three hours after that will be the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross, who and we're waiting to talk to. We're almost ready to talk to. Yep. As soon as and we get the go ahead. And you can you can keep going to the same causes page. We'll rotate the charities through Correct. for you. So and we'll Correct. let you know when we change them. Yep. Yep. Is this my mic now? That's the problem. Oh, hmm. look, you can talk. Oh, about. I can talk. What what were you talking to them about while I was getting remiked? Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the history of 30 Hour Day, where we came up with the idea. Hopefully that's not what Cammie was just talking to you about. The, um, the idea originated in late November of last year. Uh, we were sitting in the Strange Love Live studios thinking that we needed to do something to give back to the community. Um, we, had a lot of <laughs> we had a lot of technical know-how. We had, um, you know, thanks to Dr. Normal, who's running the board and uh, you know equipment and friends who wanted to help and thanks to all the volunteers in the Portland tech community we were able to pull off a 30 hour variety show telethon that was seen last year by about more than 70,000 people on the web and was should I switch spots? I don't know I'm just trying to see if my Lower mic is going to set anything off. Um, oh, no it's not. And we raised uh, more than $7,000 in cash, as well as probably a ton or two of food and a lot of toys yeah. for Toys for Tots. So that was, um, that was last year. And we're going to try and do that again now. Did so, you tell them that you dressed up like Santa? I didn't tell them that part. I'm not going to do that this year. That suit is hot. That wouldn't make sense. It's July. Christmas in July. It's raining. It's it was Hello? Hmm. Uh, Anybody know who's? I don't know who it is. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, you had to mute? OK. So we can, we can share this one. Obviously, we're still working through a few little things. Um, we will be getting, as soon as we get the sound worked out, we will, we will um, get some folks on stage, get all that stuff going. Really, I swear, it's not going to be us for the whole 30 hours. Yeah, nor, nor is it going to be sound checks. The whole and and I would encourage you not to watch if it was going to be us for the whole 30 hours. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't watch it. Most of no. Mm. I would have turned off by now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can go donate. I'm just being honest. Go, go donate right now while we're working at this. Yes. You know, minimize this window. Go donate. Hang or out. maybe hit the go mute get, button. Go get a drink. Have you some get, coffee. Go get some coffee. 30 hours is a long time. Yeah, if you want to stay up with us. And I've been awake for a while. Yeah, it's you, you need to caffeinate. Please. I don't think I've had enough caffeine. Really? Mm-mm. You're not sleeping. I know. Okay. So, um, is it... Is it it's ooh. when I lift my mic up. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so when I lift... I have Still no idea. I, I'm it. not the audio technician here. If I okay, don't what move. Else? What else should we talk about? Sponsors. Sponsors. Okay, we already said that this, this hour, the this sound hour's, check hour. This hour is Step House <laughs> Networks. Who's yes. providing our connectivity. We should give them another hour. We should give them another hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, our premier sponsors for the show, um, some people whose entire crew has pitched in to help out with this. Is, is there P even any content on PDXFM right I now? I don't, I don't know. PDXFM, the whole, the whole crew is here. Um, and if you haven't listened to them, you should be doing that. It's PDX.FM. That's hard to remember. A lot of great content. Um, and they're actually gonna have several shows here uh, yeah, throughout the course be... of, of the time that we're here. And we're gonna have a very special segment with Jay Mack and he's gonna be camping out with us. Yeah, which will be awesome. Yeah. Um, we've all, uh, our other premier sponsor is Web Trends, mm -hmm. who has been kind enough to provide the Studio B location where we will be from 10 p.m. tonight to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yes, the 12 hours that we're not allowed to be here in the square with amplified noise, we're gonna be over there making noise in their offices. Yeah, so that should be, that should be good. And we'll have uh, 
bunch of stuff from there. A Strange Love Live, Crazy Talk. Yes. All kinds of DJs. The Last Stand. Oh, The Last Stand, too. We'll be, we'll be, you just um, forget because you're afraid of zombies. I am afraid of zombies, kind of. Yeah, so once we move over there. So let, let's start. In theory, at 5.30, we're going to have one moment. Right. Which is a band. Yes. It's not that we have a lot of moments right now. We're going to have one moment come and play for you. They're back. They're back. They were 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 here here last time. The original 30 hour day, so we're glad to have them back. And another band that's back is. At 6 30, our our beloved house band, Target for Tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Yes, we cannot wait for them. They're an awesome, awesome, awesome band. Yes. Um, Actually, awesome. That's when we've got Charlie Awesome running around. Charlie Awesome is running around trying to figure out the sound (laughs) stuff. And we've got a few of them back on the board as well. At at 9 o'clock, we're going to have a pub quiz with Quizmaster Polly. Oh, we are? Yeah, you're not going to. Can I play? No. I'm sorry, you have to, you actually have to leave. Oh, well, fine. What's before that, though, swing dance? Oh, I was trying not to mention yeah. that. Oh, we're gonna talk to the square. You guys know the folks at the square, KGW, over there? Well, we should, Chat during the swing dance bit. lesson, we should, we're gonna have the twang shifters come play. Twang shifters are gonna play? And yeah. Frankie Cheese is gonna give us swing dance lessons. Yeah, that should be good. What else? I don't dance. I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm gonna hurt Griggs. You got Grigsby. Jason Grigsby yeah. will lead. You'll be fine. And who's, who are you going to dance with? I get to dance with uh, Steph Strickland from yes, KGW. Yes, of KGW. Step on her toes a little bit. Yeah, and she'll come over tomorrow night as well. Yeah, to help with the wrap-up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think cool. she's going to come talk to us to figure out what the heck we were thinking when we she decided here, to do this again. She was here last year and she, uh, helped yes. with the wrap party, so that will be awesome. Yeah. And then Strange of Live. Yeah. And then the last stand premiere, and we're going to talk to some of the actors and crew. Great. And zombies. Then, yes, zombies. And then Who crazy, like talk. Zombies? crazy talk. Crazy talk. A lot of DJ? people. Do we have a DJ yeah, we have a DJ. Right, we have uh, a Mr. DJ Ballistic. Nice. Yeah. And then. You like the electronica, don't you? Do we need to get into this right I'm now? Sorry, I was just going to ask. I like the electronica. I know you do. All yeah. right. And then the important part is this. Yes. Then we're having a slumber party. Awesome. Yeah. No I have one no gets idea to what's it. happening. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. No. So we've got a, a thriving comedy scene here in Portland. I should mention that we've also got um, Sasquatch coming later. Yeah. Scott Rogers. He's awesome. And we've got uh, Courtney Hamaster coming as well. And they're all going to make you guys laugh this evening. Uh, but then when we move on over to location B, we had to do something with all that time. And another one of our local comedians, uh, Whitney Street, oh, has put together three hours of comedy. Mm-hmm. Plus, uh, Bill DeRishi taking teaching us to play the ukulele. Oh, that's right. This is a very educational episode of Thirty Hour Day. We're yes, going to learn to swing dance. We're going to learn how to play the ukulele. Yes, we will. We're going to lo- learn how we operate under sleep deprivation again. Yes, and we're also going to learn, learn how to avoid zombies. There's all kinds of good yeah. stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that's included. I don't know if Martin. Will you teach us to learn? Do you teach us to avoid the zombies? Please. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're Martin, getting, we're the filmmaker, a, will teach us to a head avoid nod the zombies. That That's, That's excellent. Great. We've I'm got very the, excited. We've got the helmet cams to. I brought my us. sleeping bag just in case. Sweet. Yeah. I think they can nod through sleeping bags, <laughs> from what I've seen. <laughs> It's the illusion of safety that's more important than anything, really. I mean, they're going to be on screen. They're not going to be... Wait, Martin, none of them are coming as zombies, are they? right? Oh, Oh. now we get the shrug. Thanks. No, that's not... uh, um, If only you could see what we see. We've got a whole crew full of people, way more entertaining than we are, like right over there. I see two bands. I see a filmmaker. I see the PDXFM crew. I see my beloved Megan Kate over there. Hi, sweetie. Cheese yeah. steaks and burgers, Shelly's Garden. We got all kinds of stuff. Come on down. Yeah. Hang yeah. out with us. Yeah. We've got Come volunteers. We've got people who look surly because we're really not as entertaining as we should be for this I'm looking stage. a little surly myself. We've got, we've got Jeff Hardison. He's yes, going to come do something awesome Ro later. Is Jeff Rowe here? Hey. Oh, yeah. It's Jeff Rowe. He's here. That's He's going to be awesome later. I'd let him Let's come up and do that now. teach you how to talk Kentucky. Now, you've got to wait. Oh, no. I don't think we're going to learn how to talk Kentucky. I think no? we're going to handle something else entirely. Oh. We well, can listen to his. He will talk accent. like that, though. I know. That's yeah, what he I'm will. Saying. It's very it's educational. It's sad when I slip into All the accent. educational. Bring the kids. <laughs> Maybe not for the part with Jeff. Oh, or the zombies. Or the zombies. Kids. Don't or like crazy this. talk. Right, but other than that, bring. Or the kids. or the slumber party. They should be in bed by then. Yes, by that's the reason it's on late at night. Right. I'd really, really love to have our wonderful volunteers from our charities come on up. I'm wondering if I can get a head nod on that. Are we okay to go to... We could stand and interview them if we could get them a stick mic. If, well, yeah. if they want to pass this one off, it works. Okay, well, okay. no, we're just going to do one at a time, so... 
Are we allowed on this side of the set? Aaron. Are we allowed? Aaron. We'll figure out if we're... So can we be on the can other set or no? Uh, one moment. This we're is getting, educational for yeah. you as well. You guys get the behind the scenes in a live production. You get to production. see what a live production is like. I think like. we're going to let Charlie do a sound check. It's going to be very exciting. All right. Well, let's stay here then. There goes Jeff Rowe. Can we go over there? <laughs> I'm going to ask the same question. Don't, don't, don't take Charlie's stage direction and don't fall <laughs> in that hole. Um, Do you have an iPhone? Download the app. Yeah. Come and save me. See what's going on. You're genuinely oh, funny. Minutes. I am not. <laughs> 30 minutes gone. 30 minutes of 30 hours gone. There's a bug on me. So we got. A bug. I don't think we have mics anymore. We don't really no. have mics, but. I'm being blown yeah. by the I'll wind? Whoa! No, that's no. not going to happen. I'm sorry. They can listen to your sound. Download the 30. One, two, hey, Charlie, how's it going? Yes. Download that. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if they can see us. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stream us? I don't know. We'll see. Number one should be good. How much? How much? 30 minutes in. in. Oh, oh, look. Yeah. I know, look at all the people. I think people we, have, we have too many volunteers. Oh, just kidding. We have too many volunteers. It'd be great if they could have that camera. Know, can, we, can we have that camera? Can you? All right. No one's on the board. Oh, yes. Yay. And we're rolling. Hi. Yay. Yeah. Is that? So this, this is one, two. Okay. You can hand them the wireless ones. Okay. All right. All right. You want to just wire? Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. All right. Thank you, Emily. I don't. I can't hear us. Am I live? Am I live? Hello. Uh -oh. Can you hear me? Megan Kate is here. <laughs> Of Hello, course, they can hear Megan that. Gates. Hello. We're good. But no, we what? need a camera. Camera would be awesome. Yeah, it would be great. Not, not. I mean, Hockley's camera Hello? we love. We love Hockley's camera. Don't get me wrong. But it would Social be helpful if talk. as we were. <gasps> oh, there we are. It's us. Right, we're here. And the 30-hour day logo. And I'm, I think we're ready. We're ready? Yes. I do think we, we are. At least that, come on over. I like her shoes. I'm not used to having to hold my microphone. I've gotten lazy with my little wireless lav mic. Lisa, can you tell us what? I'm sorry, I've forgotten your last. Yes, tell <laughs> us who you are and what you do. Yeah, so my name is Lisa Harwin. I'm the communications director for the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. Um, so we are here in Portland, mm -hmm. just over uh, right next to Emanuel Hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that happens here in Oregon about 10 times a week. Um, oh, so wow. this is all the time. So in fact, last week we were just at a, a big apartment fire up on uh, Northwest 20th in yep. Flanders. Uh, about 18 people out of their apartments, uh, eight apartments affected. So we're there to do things like provide food, make sure people have a place to spend the night. You know, it happened at around 7.30 in the morning, right at a time when people oh, are getting wow. ready to leave for work, yeah. making sure people have toothbrushes and toothpaste and you know, really all the basics yeah. uh, to kind of get back on their feet again. So that's what we're there for. So what do you do for the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross? I practice saying <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, it kind of yeah. is. Um, so aside from doing stuff like this, doing, you know, TV interviews, talking to people like you guys, um, you know, we... Like uh, us guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually have a pretty active social media presence, which oh. I know a lot of your viewers now watching yep. the live stream um, are probably interested in. So um, we tweet... We blog, we Facebook, uh, we podcast actually on PDXFM. Oh, cool. Uh, we have a podcast that airs right after morning submission on Thursday mornings. Um, and we really try and teach people about preparedness because the goal is not so much 
to respond to fires. I mean, of course, we're always going to be there to do that. Yeah. But hopefully prevent them from happening in the first place. Yep. You know, get people uh, ready to, um, you know, be checking their smoke alarms, uh, know what to do in case of an emergency. And that's really our kind of other goal is to make sure people are ready for anything. Excellent. Is do there you anything else you want to ask? Do you have me? anything else? I, d I don't really have any questions. No? So well, what, what, what is the oddest fundraiser you think that has been used to raise funds for the American Red Cross, for the Oregon Trail chapter of the American <laughs> Red Cross specifically? Well, I'll tell you actually probably the most fun one that we've done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, earlier uh, in the year, in January, there was obviously a huge earthquake in Haiti. Yes. And the American Red Cross had a very active role in responding to that disaster. And, you know, helping people were still, of course, on the ground helping people now. Um, so we had already talked to the fine folks over at Cupcake Jones, over in the mm -hmm. Pearl District. Uh, and they wanted to do something to help. And we thought, well, Red Velvet Cupcakes, Red Cross, it was a natural fit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really wanted to work with them. And so they decided to give uh, all of their proceeds from the sale of Red Velvet Cupcakes to the Red Cross for one day. And we decided to kind of have a mini tweet up and invite all of our followers and friends uh, to come down to Cupcake Jones and have cupcake brunch with us. Uh, so we did it at like 11 in the morning. Who doesn't like a cupcake at 11 a.m.? Or at any uh, time. Or at right? 11 p.m. Exactly. I like cupcakes, too. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so we did that, and it was a lot of fun, and we had a lot of people come down. It was great to meet people face-to-face, -face, um, and it was just kind of a fun way for the community mm -hmm. to, to get involved with, you know, with helping the American Red Cross respond to disasters mm -hmm. and, and help people on the ground and get aid to where it's needed. So it was a lot of fun. So aside from donating during the show, what else can people be doing right now to help your chapter of the Red Cross? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, you know, aside from disaster response, uh, which is kind of my main goal, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we're always looking for people to give blood. The yeah. summer is a really tough time. Okay. Um, when school's out, donations fall by about 20%. Uh, down in central Oregon, just during the month of June, we had about a 32% cancellation rate. Wow. People are out for holidays, people are traveling, people are on vacation, people are you know doing other things, and yeah. they start canceling their appointments. So it's a critical time. If you have typo negative blood, which I actually happen to have myself, um, we really want you to come in now and keep your appointment and uh, make a donation if you can. Um, if you can't, you can always help out at a blood drive. There are other ways that you can be involved, even if you can't give blood because you're deferred or um, mm -hmm. you know in ineligible for another reason. Um, we also are always looking for volunteers. If people are you know, wanting to get up at 2 in the morning and respond to house fires and help their neighbors mm -hmm. um, get back on their feet, we'd love to have them. So. So where can they follow you guys on Twitter, and what's your website? Um, our website is OregonRedCross.org, and our Twitter is RedCrossPDX, and it's the same for Facebook, same for YouTube, Flickr, all, all of our okay. social media. It's generally RedCrossPDX. Okay. And if there's one thing that you would like everyone to know about the Red Cross, what is it? You know, one of the things that we say is we want people to be prepared for anything. That's kind of our tagline at the end of our podcast. Um, we just really want people to be ready, and we know that here in Oregon, there's going to be a major earthquake at some point in the future. But every year we have winter storms, we have flooding, we have, you know, power outages, things like that that happen all the time. So take the opportunity right now to go ahead and get prepared, pull together your flashlight, pull together some food and water, and just be ready for anything. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us, Lisa. Thank really you. Nice. Are you. Are you prepared in the event of an emergency? I'm not. I know. I'm kind of. My, I check my smoke detector a lot. I do that. I've got like first aid kit kind of I stuff. I have first aid kits. I have I'm a not lot prepared of if we have an emergency here. Ooh. No, I'm no. We've got lots of water though. We we have water. We do and food, thanks to our food sponsors. Yes. Well, not right this minute. Yeah, coming. That, oh. that will come later. Look oh, I think we've got, got Rodolfo. Rodolfo from Pear. I probably said it wrong. I probably didn't remember. Hey, Hi. how are you? Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. You're from Pear. Yes. Which is the way we're doing um, the way we're doing the fundraising is in the 30 hours we're switching every three hours and pair is actually the first three hours of the fundraiser. Oh. So I'm very glad that you're here. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was at the last minute kind of worried that I wasn't going to make it, but when I was told <laughs> it's me or no one, I was, somebody's got to come. This is such <laughs> a great you. thing. And thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank absolutely. you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. So we were discussing earlier that the other two charities we're raising money for, uh, there's a lot of awareness for. People know about the Red Cross and they know about the Oregon Food Bank, but a lot of people don't know about PEAR. Mm. So why don't you tell us uh, what PEAR does and how they were started? Oh, absolutely. Um, and, you know, it's, yeah, like we're not, we're not big in the sense where 
like we've got that national recognition, but we really are run by the community. It really is the smaller businesses. It really is the community that comes out to support what we do because we don't go for those big government grants. It's the fundraising, it's the community development, it's the foundations that love us for what we do. And it's really a unique model. It's what drew me to PEAR, what keeps me at PEAR, is our focus on our relationship with the young people we work with. Mm -hmm. And so for me to, to shift from working with getting lots of numbers, working with lots of kids, to just having to worry about one or two kids on my plate, I mean, that's the ideal. And only at PEAR does that happen. It's, it's really a miracle the way that they can do that because of the fact that the community supports us so much. And so we are, we're a mentor program where we, we house uh, an art center. Kids come in, they participate in recreation activities artistic, all sorts of outings, and I do murals myself, so I take the kids to the community, we do murals, and um, I also run a housing program, so we're really into the housing aspect of trying to help kids transition out of homelessness. Initially, the idea is building trust, building community, and then from there, being the support that they need to help guide them into the direction that, ultimately, it's their goals, and so we're just really supporting them not necessarily telling them what's right or what to do, but just seeing them grow in that way. Giving them the option to Absolutely. have a better way to do things. So aside from donating, which you should be doing. Right now. Right now mm -hmm. at, at Facebook Causes to pair. Um, aside from don yes, please. <laughs> I'm bossy, he's nice. Uh, what, what else are you guys in need of? I mean, is there volunteers? Yes, absolutely, thank you. Um, so our volunteers, really, we feel like uh, a big part of what is PEAR is the community that, that surrounds us and the support that we get from our volunteers, whether it's uh, the people that are there with us during the day, because there really is only four of us that are staffed there. Wow. And so with the volunteers, we have uh, anywhere from like two to four volunteers come in a day, uh, just sharing their time, sharing their skills, because we have artists, musicians, business people, just wonderful people coming in, students, people just interested in community and sharing what they have with these young people. And really, again, it's building community. So mm -hmm. it's our volunteers really that keep us going and we're always grateful for them and trying to think of ways to uh, thank them. So I guess this is my way of saying thank you because really, again, without them, there's so few of us and there's just such a huge need at the center. Yeah. So where can they find you social media wise? Uh, what's your website, Facebook, uh, Twitter, et cetera? So yes, we're uh, definitely um, on Facebook. Or we've got Twitter. We're, we've got our own website, pairmentor.org. And if you really want to get involved, I would uh, speak with Joy Cartier. She's one of the founders, Beth Burns, Pippa Aaron, amazing people. Uh, three women that started this, and uh, they willed it, I say. Mm -hmm. And something beautiful and something really, really community. So it'd be great to have anybody involved with it. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. It was really good to have you. I'm glad yeah. you stopped by. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. It's great. Right. We got our couches back. I know. This is okay. nice. This so, is comfy. So that was Pear. I think he did a better job of explaining it than we would have done. I think he did, too. I'm and glad it's a, he was here. Again, it's another one of those programs that I wish more people knew about because they're doing a really amazing job. And it's a very Portland organization. I mean, it's all about the community and how the community supports uh, these kids and, and helps mentor them. So, so right now, bit.ly slash 30HD2 will take you to the causes page. You can donate to pair for the next two, two hours, hours and, and 15 minutes I don't, I don't or know so. How, I don't know what time I don't know. Is. How far have we gone? Because I, you know... I've got people looking at me Two like they want to come over. Yeah, we are, 2 are we doing something? All right. What's going on? Oh. Our next guest is going to be Martin, <laughs> who's going to talk about what's coming up later this evening and a little something that he's doing nice. in the name of 30 Hour Day on that website. Awesome. Okay. And, and that's fantastic. And then someone should prep Jeff as well. Yeah. Hi, Martin. Hey there. Hi. How are you? This is Martin Vavra. Did I say it right? Yes, you did say it right. I always like it when I say things right. <laughs> and, and he's here uh, in multiple capacities. Right now, he's here schlepping wires and <laughs> cables and microphones yeah, and this pushing is, buttons. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing the PA position. Oh, very nice. Yeah, but holding coffee, moving boxes. Yeah. See that wire? Go and plug it and plug it yeah. in over there. Yeah, you're the lackey. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But later, you're going to be uh, coming on as a filmmaker. Yes, 
Exactly. So it's interesting. I yeah, I get to start the day as a PA and move <laughs> up to director later on. <laughs> you're upwardly mobile. Today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very you have to be mobile. in the film industry. You got to be ready for any of that. So what is it? What are you doing now? This is a surprise for us. We didn't know. We like surprises. It is. Yes. Well, um, so on our website for our, uh, the the series that we have is called The Last Stand. So if you go to the laststandonline.com, uh, you can watch the series. We've been relaunching the series Not because if you're a we child. had a. If you're a child, please. Don't watch uh, no, it's uh, yeah. I would definitely say that you should be 13 and older for it, or parents' permission. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> just saying, Thank you. yeah. So, but if you go there, we what we have is we've been relaunching the series because we have a, a, some new folks that have been distributing it with some advertisement and whatnot. Uh -huh. So, but we have a donation on there, but we have T-shirt sales. So uh, right now, our T-shirt prices are fifteen dollars, and that goes to help on the production of the series. But uh, for all shirts that are sold during the 30 hour time, so if anybody goes on and, and purchases a shirt for 30 hour day, all of the uh, proceeds, all of, the, um, all of that goes to uh, the 30 hour day charities. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, so as many That's shirts awesome. as we can move, if people go on there, uh, yeah, now we're all shilling of that. for the. Now yeah. we're, not that go I wasn't already going to shill for the last stand because yeah, so you get a you'll get a, a you'll get a shirt and you'll get a bumper sticker and then all the proceeds go to a thirty hour day. Excellent. That's Thank awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Martin. You. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. Excellent. Yeah, and so. you should definitely tune in tonight at eleven. When we're going to be talking, it is at eleven, right? That's it is at eleven. Is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be talking with Martin for a little while, and then we're gonna screen uh, screen the entire first series. And so get some popcorn. Yeah, get yep. in your get in I your jammies. Get and we've got. Uh, we, I don't know if we have a popcorn sponsor. We have a uh, we have most of the the lead cast is going to mm -hmm. be there. We've got some crew people there, and then uh, I'm also going to bring like you were talking about, you know, how to avoid and all of that stuff. Yes. So we're going to bring a couple Good. other little surprises. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, are we going to be able to discuss series two at all? Are we? We, yeah, we certainly can discuss that. Yeah, for sure. I didn't get to sure. talk about it last time. Good. All right. Well, Martin, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we'll thanks. We'll see you in a few hours. Yeah, we'll be back. In the meantime, I've got uh, cords to move. All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. So that you can, a surprise. That is a surprise. So you can buy a shirt. TheLastStandOnline.com. Buy a shirt there. Go you buy a shirt. You can buy the Feed, Eat, Kill, Die shirt. I have one. Yeah. Mine's a little torn up, though. They're very cool. It's the same one. Uh, oh, yeah. Martin's wearing Martin one. Martin was wearing it on it stage. It just has the little Feed, We should have had him kill. model it. Yeah. But, um, we'll, we'll get him to show us later. We hey, will. Oh, we got. We need to switch. We got uh, we're not. Coming. What? Are we doing I'm it over Rick there? <laughs> no, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, we're ready. Come on. Ricky T. <laughs> Good to see you. Can we see? How are you doing, sugar? Good to see y'all. I like to talk like that. Do you, do you mind you. being called Cammy or like you like? What about Camelia? You like Camelia? We've been through this. I don't like it when you call me Camelia. That's not my name. You know, I was thinking of uh, giving you a dot com name. Uh huh. Camster. <laughs> no. See, Camster. What we could do is this: is that you could be the founder. Your head is currently cut off. <laughs> You look great, though. There you oh. go. It's a lot better that way. <laughs> there you go. You, I figure you could be the you could be the founder and then go to CTO, and uh, I could move in as CEO, and then we build that thing up all grassroots style, all power to people kind of thing. Get all the get everybody's <laughs> love and do lots of transparency and authenticity and so forth, and then we'd sell it to Univer NBC Universal. Does it have to be called Camster? Camster has got to have the stir in it. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. And then, and then once we sell it, that's where the real magic happens. Okay, what happens when we sell it? Once it's sold, it's, it's part of a huge multinational conglomerate, and you know they do magic to internet companies. <laughs> do they own me as well? Or no, no, you, 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 you quietly step out, you know, uh, one like of those uh, valley wags writes about it, but you, uh -huh. you quietly step out, and um, I'm CEO, and then I fail, and then I, I, I leave for family reasons. Uh <laughs> Well, if you fail, and I, do we make money off of this venture? Oh, yeah, you make the money. That's the whole point. You get the money up front. <laughs> okay. Just like they do out there. So what is it exactly that Camster is going to do? We, Camp, we brought him on just to entertain What does you. any of it do? I don't know, but you've got to have a pitch. you got to sell them on something. It is an enterprise, social, synergistic, 2.0, into can end we, solution can we make it for, for uh, is hospitals. It, is it scalable Wait, across the hospitals? enterprise? It's scalable across the enterprise. Excellent. It's robust. I'm glad, to, I'm glad to hear it's a robust system. That's it's robust. Excellent. 
It's actually an ASP. We're going to bring the ASP back. <laughs> what about the SA, What about the SAS model? Will it run on that? This is an nope, excellent segment nope. for you. Sa- Sa- SAS is soaked five minutes ago. It's going to be ASP, Application <laughs> Service Provider. All right, excellent. I'm glad to hear it. It sounds like a winner. You know, I was uh, I was trying to get up here. I was almost I was almost late, and someone asked me. Uh, it's a good thing you weren't late. Yeah, I was I was trying to keep <laughs> this thing running like that, you know, on timelines, milestones, and I and I was walking up here, and this guy said. Uh, Hey, man, can I have a dollar? I said, I don't have time to give you a dollar. I'm going to a charity <laughs> webinar. <laughs> you don't got time for your dollars. We got real things to do. So it looks like you have a little presentation uh, here for us. It doesn't have anything to do with Camster. No, this is not to do with Camster. Camster is something else. We got to book some time for All that. Right, you, you and I will <laughs> booked uh, out. maybe um, Thursday, Wednesday. I, I, I needed some time to recuperate after this. Check your account. All right, I will. I'm not allowed to have it on stage. so. All right, so we're, what we got right, right here is a... Uh, as you can, can see, see here, this? you know, my daddy always told me that uh, charity starts at home, okay? And the home is Oregon, and the, the heart is where the home is, and our heart is in the middle of an Oregon state thing bumper sticker on your car. And <laughs> right here, I was thinking that I could do some charity myself and make it a uh, PDX economic stimulus plan, because I love this fine country. These people are patriots. What are we stimulating? We are stimulating the economy here. If you haven't noticed, we lost something like 28,000 jobs last year. Okay? So we got to figure out a way to uh, stimulate it a little bit, make it feel a little <laughs> bit better. Okay? I better step down here. Uh, so what I did was I crowdsourced this, okay? I went out there, asked, some, uh, asked, the, asked the people for their opinions, because in Portland we believe the people have better ideas than the experts. We also believe that the people are only located on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So I talked to a few people and I asked them, what is your most amazing idea? Now go blue sky with me. Go blue sky. No, no ideas are wrong. And let's really, let's really brainstorm it. Brain hurricane. And let's figure, out, let's figure out what could help Portland, what could stimulate Oregon's There's economy. There's a pig. Okay. All right. Now, everybody knows about the underutilized Memorial Coliseum, right? Now, Bacon. Bacon's getting really big in the world. <laughs> Is it getting big? It's getting big. But in Portland, it was big a long time ago. We were on top of that piece a long time ago. We do like our bacon. Now, what I was thinking was this. You know how we like to take our anything that's, that's somewhat dirty and make it cleaner here in Portland? Well, no. pig, pig farms, if, if you're where I'm from, pig farms are dirty. <laughs> so we put a pig farm inside. All right, keep all that smell inside. Put it in the Moral Coliseum. How does that make it cleaner? Well, we keep it inside so people don't see the problem. <laughs> That's what it's all about here, just push the problem out. So on top of Memorial Coliseum, we're going to put a series of solar panels, okay, right here. And the sun is going to bake the pigs. It's going to turn <laughs> into bacon. So wait, it's going to be the pin and the oven? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Bacon farm. Time saver. Time this is sustainable. All right. Oh, my God, I wish I was a vegetarian Less right of now. a carbon footprint. Now... <laughs> Out, outside of here, you see this brown stuff right here? That's supposed to represent methane. Now, methane is one of the hottest gases out there. This methane is going to power the future. I'm telling you that right now. Forget wind power. Forget hydropower methane. So, so wind it, power it, is crap, right? Wind power is crap. It's all about methane. What about water power also? Hydropower? That's meth, crap. Meth, methane. No, it's all about Produce the methane. Methane is, methane. methane is not crap, though. Like, like Barter Town on Thunderdome. I think y'all are messing with me now. No, what? No. Now, we got the the solar coming in, we got the methane going out, we're going to ship the bacon out, and we're going to supply the world's bacon bacon needs. Who's going to carve the bacon? Well, I mean, who are you going to, I mean, you're going to have to pay someone an awful lot to go into the methane expelling pig roasting Memorial Coliseum. Ninjas. Pig farm. Ninjas. Ninjas. Bacon ninjas. You know, Bacon since the 1980s, ninjas. since Excellent. the 1980s, ninjas have not had the jobs they used to have. Remember all those movies <laughs> like The Master? That is an economic stimulus for the ninjas. And Teenage right? Mutant like Ninja that. Turtles. Yeah, that's good. Bring right. them ninjas in like Storm Shadow. Yeah. Bring oh, them in. Right. Good. Thank Storm you. Shadow hasn't been doing nothing since 1986, <laughs> I tell you what. All right. So that's, that's right. the first idea good. here. Right. Excellent. I'm okay. not sure that that one's very viable. So here's We're just thing. blue sky. We're brainstorming. I'm just We're saying. We're blue sky it. You know what? All ideas are good. That's right. Wear your white hat. We're not being negative right now. Thank you. You're How about welcome. you be? <laughs> okay. How about I, I wear like... the, the black hat? All right, that's fine. And you wear you the white no, hat, nice, and I can be, be the pessimist. Okay, that's good. Just... All right. 
Back to me. Continue. Oh, Back to sorry, me. Hi. I'm sorry. This oh, is about here? Jethro. Oh. Back to me. I only got a certain amount of time here. <laughs> so, now, another thing that's getting really big in Portland that the rest of the world's going to get hit to sooner or later <laughs> is food carts. All right? Food carts. Now, what we do know is that Coming from Kentucky, I know a little secret. Kentucky Fried Chicken was really ahead of its time back in the 1970s. They were selling Kentucky Fried Chickens in China before any other fast food restaurants got onto that idea. So what we should do is take our Asian food carts run by Portlanders and sell it back to Asia, okay? So we've got a person who looks like Portlander right here. He's Got a mustache. Is that a hipster? <laughs> got a mustache. He's got a skateboard haircut, 1987. That's a hipster. We, we got, got a unhappy. Hipster. Does he have skinny pants? He, he, he does. We're going to get pants. that later. Yeah, okay. right. Sorry, pants. it's important to know. We got his, his unhappy partner over here. <laughs> and this is Mongolia Grills. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a little yeah. bit, uh, it's uh, meta. <laughs> All right. Celt Asia. So, Good. so yeah. I, I'm just not even going to. So I need to give you all time to. But that, you need to let that one sink in. Let y'all sink yeah. in for a second. What do you think about that? Huh. Sell Asian food, our version of Asian food, back to Asia. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it's to a eat kitschy. at that? Well, I'm just gonna. Do you like to eat at that that burger restaurant that the burgers like little styrofoam patties? Where's that? I'm not gonna say the name of it on air. It's not a styrofoam sponsor. Patties. Not a sponsor. You know who is a sponsor? Burgerville. Burgerville's a sponsor. <laughs> Burgerville. Now Burgerville. That's true. I like Burgerville. Shut up. <laughs> if I was CEO of Burgerville, I'd be selling that piece all over this world. <laughs> well, you know, they're starting. They've got the Nomad now. They do? Yeah. You know about the Nomad? It drives around. Oh, no, around. That's, a, that's a little food cart thing. Yeah, yeah. it's like a, yeah. What about taking that across the country? That's what I'm saying. That's a good idea. Burgerville, please franchise. Please. <laughs> I beg you. Please. We save, all, save, only in two states. Mm -hmm. Only uh, uh, two states. They don't have any in yeah. Idaho, do they? No. And no, it, you pass... Uh, the Dalles, the Hood River, and you're, that's, that's it. it. You're done. There's some yeah. sad people back there. Yeah, no kidding. No, they don't have any Burgerville. Yeah. Okay, move along. Move I don't okay. want to discuss this. I think this idea is more ridiculous than the pig baking memorial call. Okay. Now. Oh, I'm liking this one. Another ironic mustache. Oh, it's my, my. the same hipster guy. Yeah, well, you know. They got things to do. <laughs> All right. He's upwardly mobile. So my, my friend, uh, I was asking some people, some friends, my friend Eagle said, uh, he reminded me of the great leap forward. And Eagle? My friend, Eagle, actually, a friend named Eagle. <laughs> he just moved, he just moved here with his dad to start a food cart. No joke. And uh, they, they reminded me of the Great Leap Forward. And the Great Leap Forward was was uh, was a uh, was initiated by Chairman Mayo of the Mayo Clinic <laughs> back in I think it was like 1956 or something like that. And the Great Leap Forward is all about industrializing the place through agriculturalization and through steel making. So what he did was. He made all the citizenry start a backyard furnace, okay, where they're supposed to take pots and pans, put them back there. What we're going to do is this, is we're going to take old iPhones, <laughs> like this one. This thing is like the, the uh, iPhone version of the Commodore 64. Oh, you better turn that off before Dr. Normal finds out it's on. It can mess with his microphone. Sorry about stuff. that, Dr. Normal. We're going to take old iPhones, and we're going to put them in a big furnace in our backyards, so we're going to make steel out of them. We're also going to take mountain bikes, because I don't know who's using them anymore. We're going to put them in there. We're going to burn um, that people down. People like to bike We're going to burn that mountains. down and supply the steel industry and sell it back to China. Sell it back to China. What do you think about that? I don't know that they mm. need our, our stuff. He's looking kind of tired up there. Uh, that, yeah, that's kind of looking like where yeah. the Swiss He needs to do more cardio. Rest. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's the tightness of the skinny jeans that are impacting his ability to breathe. To climb the, the stairs. I'm yeah. glad you brought up skinny jeans. Skinny oh, jeans is actually part of the stimulus plan uh, later on. Is it? It is. Wow. I don't really I, find I skinny wait. jeans very stimulating, but okay. Is I'm going to believe you. you. You haven't steered me right yet. <laughs> no, here, All right, here we, go. here we go. So sometimes it's not about new products. Sometimes it's about efficiencies, driving out inefficiencies, streamlining. You know, getting in there, so forth. So, my friend Matt Lounsbury, Stumptown Coffee, he had an idea. He said uh, he always pictured there being a bunch of pneumatic tubes. Pneumatic tubes. Like those little shooty mail things? Exactly, like at the bank. Love those You things. know when you go to the bank and you sit there and you go, like, open a little thing up, put it in there, they yeah. give you back a sucker? That's yes. what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. I don't know what it is, but I like it. So, instead of... If, if being, I get a sucker, then... Instead of having to walk a package down to somebody or back it over... Yeah. You could just have pneumatic tubes take it over to wherever you got to go, right? Connect could the building make, pneumatic Could tubes. we make those big enough for people? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Well, we could. Yeah, right? yeah we could. Yeah, yeah. see? 
Okay, this. It's kind of like the I like, match. It. I like Now, why would we send? Why different. would we send people from? Now, why wouldn't they just walk outside? Well, because well, it's a pneumatic too. If you're too lazy to walk <laughs> over there to get there, then why wouldn't you just? <laughs> It'd be like a ghetto version of deep teleportation or something <laughs> yes, like that. It's very much. It's the it's ghetto exactly version of teleportation. Yes. I like it. I like uh -huh. this one a lot. I think we need to work on this one. Um, this is what. This is <laughs> this is the winner. We'll work so on far. hamster and we'll work on this. Okay. You know what I like about it? It doesn't involve food. Doesn't involve the internet. No, it no, doesn't. No, doesn't. It's very physical. It's, Physicality it's nice. is gonna come back. I'm it's physical yet lazy. It's real world. This real world. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, this, this one's good. Meat space. This is good. Oh, damn it! I said meat. <laughs> Sorry. We're not talking about the piggies right now. All right, now you might ask me. You might say, well. Does that mean that we're going to displace all them uh, bike messengers? Hey, Jethro, does that mean that we're going to displace all those bike messengers? Thank you very much. <laughs> Camster, we got a plan I for prefer, them bike messengers. I prefer Camille or whatever the hell that other name was to Camster, personally. We've got a great plan for them bike messengers. What we're going to do is we're going to hook all them bike messengers up to stationary bikes. They ain't going anywhere anyways. <laughs> we're going to hook up to stationary bikes, and we're going to power the grid. Okay, so there's going to be going. Wait a minute. What happened to nice. methane power? Well, you know what? It takes all types. <laughs> Alternative energy, but, baby. But we're getting rid of the hydro and we're getting rid of the we wind can, power. We can put them on the roof. You know what? Some people panels. don't like wind power because it kills the birds. Some people don't like hydro power because they're Nazis. And some people don't like <laughs> methane because it smells. But kinetic energy, everybody likes kinetic Bike energy. Bike messengers yeah. smell as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about this is, listen, what's beautiful about this is that fixie bike riders don't believe in stopping. You've seen it. They're just busting yeah, through stop fair. signs, <laughs> going around people. They don't care. And so this is a perfect exercise. Can you they keep can pedaling the entire rest of the they show? They can go like this forever. You see how my hand is going, too? Yeah. Well, you got a hand crank. What's my problem? Okay. Do you like my drawings, by the way? Those I are do. very nice. I, I especially I, like the hipster I guy. have like a fourth grade drawing style. matches my reading style. This going to be uh, available on SlideShare later, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, look, it's a baby. Now, I don't, I don't know if y'all know this, but kids are the new pets. Pets are big, but kids are the new pets. Everybody's got their kid. Now, let's blue sky this one for a bit. Okay. Now, what could we possibly do with the kid craze? Okay. We could educate them and uh, bring them up to be healthy, productive members of society so that we can make this world a better place. And so that they can live a long and happy life and hopefully take care of me when I retire. Boring. <laughs> Damn. That's what we gotta do. All right, we're gonna sell them skinny jeans. <laughs> now, the challenge is they got that baby fat, so we're gonna have to put them through some type of uh, baby, baby no, diet. No, no. Babies have baby fat. Children don't necessarily have baby fat. Well, these are babies. But, babies. but it says right here, kids are the new pets. It doesn't say babies. Your illustration and your text do not go hand in hand. That's a very good point, Camster. <laughs> I hate it when he calls me Camster. <laughs> oh, I've defeated him. He's, he's, he's turn done. The page. Oh. So now we're really white skying it. <laughs> <laughs> you got any ideas? Now, what, what about your all's ideas for economic stimulus? Let's turn, let's turn it back on you. You, you take all my ideas for yeah, free. Yeah, you're, what about you're the one ideas? who was being mean. Why don't you come up with the good ideas? I know what we could do. What? All right. This is really, really, really. It's going to take a lot of time and effort, though. Okay? We could get a whole production crew. Okay? okay. Yes. We could rent a stage. Got it. Sure. We could rent Pioneer Courthouse Square. Mm -hmm. Okay? Out there. Oh, crap. Yeah. yeah well, no. Nice. The rest of it's different. Okay? okay? We could get a bunch of awesome performers. Uh-huh. We could get a couple of lame hosts. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And then we could get on stage for, like, 30 hours or maybe... Uh, 20. Now he's, now he's getting bored. <laughs> 20 hours. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta and we could try to raise money to, for some really awesome charities like Pear yep. and the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross yes. and the Oregon Food Bank. Yeah, I like that. What do you idea? think of that? That would that would stimulate some economy. You know, I think y'all got an idea there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you need me to ever perform for that, I'd be happy to do it. No, I would no, love for you to do that's something. Not gonna, oh. Thank you. Yeah, you could come on. I don't know. We could do a Southern Dialogue or something. That sounds like a good idea. I'll yeah. actually prepare. Okay. <laughs> I think that sounds like a great idea. Well, Jeff, when we do that, I'm definitely going to have you on. But right now, thanks so much for doing the brainstorming with us. Really My pleasure. It. it was awesome to have you. Good to Thank see you. Thank you, Camster. Oh, it's good to see you, Jeff. Ricky T. Good to see you. I have to say, I'm going to... 
uh, there's a guy standing out there I've not seen in like, I don't know, how long? Like 15 years? 12, 13? Hi, Adrian. I used to work <laughs> with him at my first job. <laughs> Hi, it's 30 uh, hour day. Welcome. I don't know what time it is. I so, think it might be band yeah, let's time. Check the, it, let's check the iPhone app. It's okay. only five o'clock. It's two? only We're five o'clock? Cool. Is Thank it really you. only five o'clock? It really is. Wow. It's only five o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Here, we've and we've made it people. through the first hour. Only 29 more to go. And no, well, 28 and 57 minutes. Well, yeah. So, um, Pear is still the charity. Yes. If you want to donate.